every quarter I come to the Hereford, um, to Sam's salon in the beauty coat, in order to provide a cosmetic clinic. I love Hereford. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's like, to be honest, it's like having a day off. I love driving through and seeing all the lovely countryside. Because I'm a beauty therapist, I haven't sort of ventured into the whole Botox thing. I think that needs to be done by professionals. I provide Botox and fillers whenever I come here. My clients who go into someone that is having it done safely. Sam had a botulinum toxin treatment and what that does is it addresses the muscle movement. So for example, if you can frown, it's your muscles in um, just above your brows that are causing the brows to draw inwards, causing a crease. I had really bad um, furrows, um, they're very deep. What we do is you have an initial treatment and two weeks later is we do the tweaking so you have an additional dose if you've got any unwanted movement. So rather than putting in too much at the beginning, we can put a small amount in and two weeks later as you build up on that and you can have some more. And that's included in the price of your treatment. You've got to trust the person that's going to be putting needles in your face and she's good at what she does and I trust her completely and my clients trust me so it works. Being a nurse generally there's a duty of care so there's it doesn't matter where I am I, I feel that responsibility regardless. I always think about if it was me having a treatment you know if it's um Girls who are younger come along, I always think, oh, if it was my daughter, I'd look after them. And make sure that you look their absolute best. When people ask for treatments, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to refuse if I think it's for the overall benefit of how somebody would look. Every medical professional will have the duty of care through their professional body. And so everyone should work to that professional code of conduct. You know, I really believe in that. Um, and I carry that through my personal life. You know, if somebody's hurt themselves on the side of the road, I'll, I'll stop, you know, it's just, that's in my DNA, really. <laughs>